So we're here again for the Asylum Distillery. I'm here with Rob, master distiller, master blender, chief of everything, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so today we're gonna be using is white whiskey to make a unscripted cocktail. Again, great product, it's gluten-free, it's completely local. First distillery in Connecticut for, in Bridgeport for 97 years. First legal one. Yeah, first, uh, first legal one, yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, so let's get right into it. So, with, uh, Moonshine is one of my favorite products because it, it just has a rawness about it. It's kind of like a Volkswagen, you know, it's very rough. You can pretty much do whatever you want to it. It absorbs flavors very well. And I, I just enjoy not only drinking it, and but working with it. So, we're gonna start off with uh, some eggs. All right, so, still breakfast time. All right, we're just gonna use the white part of this. Right, so we're just gonna siphon those yolks out. I cook a little, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna guess that. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna do a little uh, ceviche style. And basically what we're doing here, we're adding some citrus, so we're gonna be neutralizing any bacteria, anything that might scare you as to the eggs with the citrus. All right, so we're gonna add some lemon juice. Gonna add some strawberries. Got about a strawberry and a half in here. Just gonna crush those up, get those flavors in. You put strawberries in here, having that, Rob? No. Uh, I always do. <laughs> it's not an omelet without strawberries. <laughs> All right. So we'll blend those up. And we're gonna do our sweetener, and we're gonna be using. Again, plant-based agave. Do about an ounce in there. Can't forget our herbs. This is kind of like a whiskey sour, so we're gonna accentuate the citrus with some lemon balm, fresh lemon balm from the garden, and then coup de gras. Two ounces of that good old shine. <laughs> Those are the right <laughs> Two ounces or more, right? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, and like any chef, and we're gonna stir that up at room temperature. Taste it a bit. I think it's amazing. Needs a little salt and pepper. Again, I'm using Bitter Truth Aromatic Bitters. Great product. And what we're gonna do here, because we're using egg whites, Again, we want to kill anything in there that may be harmful. Again, you know, you can consume egg whites all you want, you not allergic to it. So we're going to put it right here in the belly jar, seal it up. And this is what you call a dry shaking. It's dry shaking because it's being done without any ice in it. It's being done at room temperature again because it allows all the flavors to mash and interact together very well. But then again, it also produces or start the process of a uh, so then we open that up. And now we add rice. You get the shit never do this <laughs> Harder than the So this is a big drink. This one is meant to last. So we're using these bigger ice cubes because um, we don't want the ice cubes that, that are going to be broken down too fast. So we use the bigger ones. It slows the dilution process. Doesn't water down your drink as much. That's the goodness. So we're just gonna strain that out. And again, we're double straining. We're using a fourth one, and we're using a fine mesh strainer. And there's always the. 
exact right amount. <laughs> I'm not sure how you do it. <laughs> it's magic. And the thing when you use uh, egg whites in cocktails, you know, it really takes like about 20 seconds for it to really form itself and evolve. And you're gonna see where it separates. Like a drop? Yep. Uh, not yet, one sec. And then you know, we just gotta decorate it. So, <clears throat> little strawberries in there. Make a little strawberry hearts. You got a milk mustache. I'm just working. It's a moonshine. Moonshine. It's a great, great alcohol. Um, everything starts out. Yeah. Every, every country makes it. Mmm.